So hello and welcome, my name is Steve Nabell and today I'm speaking with Carol Nyach on Cosmic Gaia. Now channel has been, uh, Carol has been channeling the Arcturians for about three years and leads a group in central London connecting to the Arcturian energies for the past uh, two plus years. Um, and there'll be a link going out with this podcast to connect with that group and Carol. So good morning Carol. Good day to you Steve. What is Cosmic Gaia? It's a very intriguing title. What is Cosmic Gaia? Well, when we were last uh, together, Steve, it was just a title that came into my mind. Yeah. And, um, of course, just like us, Gaia is a multi-dimensional being and a great cosmic being. Mm. And she is, as we all know, in the process of awakening mm. and will reconnect with her cosmic self. What does it mean for people on the planet that the, the, the Gaia, the Earth, is awakening? Well, it's all part of our ascension process that we're in at the moment, isn't it? Mm. Where we are receiving energies from throughout the cosmos from various star systems, ascended masters, angels, archangels, and so on. All the energies are coming out of the central sun at the moment, mm. being amplified for us to take life on this planet and Gaia out of the third dimension and back into the fifth dimension where she has always been. Mm. What will life be like, do you think, uh, for humanity when the Gaia actually fully uh, connects into the fifth dimension? Well, we should be moving into the fifth dimension with her, shouldn't we? Mm. So I think it will probably be a great surprise to all of us, but we know in our meditations and our spiritual work the experience of being in a higher frequency, the experience of being in that higher realm, which gives us a very good indication of how it will feel. Mm. And deep within us, deep within our being, deep within our soul memory, we all know, we all remember how it was to be in the fifth dimension, which is where we are returning to. So in our visualizations, which of course are very important in the ascension process, um, we come back to that memory of how it used to be. And it's very beautiful. Mm, wonderful. Can you tell us more about uh, Gaia's multidimensional self? You know, what, what is she up to in other realms? I probably can't really answer that, except to say that in other realms she would be assisting her third dimensional self, her third dimensional presence, to awaken, to open up, and um, to restore herself to her fifth dimensional being, which of course already exists. Mm. and. Um, Planet Earth, the actual physical Earth, of course, is a physical presence, and she brought her soul down into the physical Earth in order to be able to evolve higher life on this planet, and humanity is now able to exist on this planet as part of our own evolution, which she has been assisting with us. So, um, of course, a planetary soul is very different to a human soul mm. and only a very ancient, very evolved soul um, is able to maintain higher life on a planet. Mm. Wonderful. So, uh, in this ascension process, um, many people talk about the grids of the earth shifting and the karma of the earth, because the, the earth seems to hold a lot of old karma, you know, battles and all kinds of stuff. Is that all dissolving and being released now? Well, that is part of the process, isn't it? As higher frequencies of love and light come into this planet, so all lower frequencies, lower vibrations, denser energies, are gradually being transmuted, transformed, 
and dissolved. And of course, it's all part of her awakening process that the crystalline energies of the cosmic beings um, bring their crystalline energies down through the dimensions, through the dimensional cells of Gaia, into her crystals in physical form as part of her awakening so that she can be woken up and personally I feel myself that her awakening seems to be advancing very rapidly and her energy is becoming increasingly powerful. Mm. What about the role of uh, humanity herself, the star seeds, crystal beings, rainbow children? Can you say something about all these different beings on the earth that are really here to help that ascension process? Well, the ascension of humanity and the ascension of Gaia are intimately connected, aren't they? She cannot ascend without us. And part of the role of the star seeds, of course, is to be a channel for these higher light frequencies to be able to be anchored into Gaia. She can't do it without us, but equally we can't do it without her. And of course part of the process is, which is beginning to happen at the moment, particularly through the energies which are coming to us from Sirius, the star system Sirius at the moment, um, we are um, coming into unity. We are moving into unity consciousness with Gaia and with all her kingdoms. For the ascension to happen, we all need to come into unity with nature, with the plants, with the animals, with all the elementals, with the divas with all Gaia's kingdoms and we can feel it within us that our connection, our oneness is gradually forming within through this crystalline grid, this crystalline energy which is lifting us into our higher perceptions, into our higher state of being where the Christ Consciousness energy, where the energy of Unity Consciousness is gradually forming within us. Wonderful. So Carol, I know you're going to be doing a meditation. Do you want to say something about that meditation before you go into it? Well, we see where it leads when we begin. I think I'll probably start with um, a few minutes or so just to help each of us come into a higher frequency within ourselves for this meditation. Um, of course, many beings will be with us, they already are with us, and wherever you are, when you listen to this meditation, you will find that they will immediately come into your presence. So, we will work with the spirit, the soul of Gaia, of course, with the Archerian Helioa, who works very much with crystals and the crystal energies with the holographic universe um, and I can already feel that um, Jesus, Ananda and Mary are with us. We will work with the native ascended masters including Chief White Eagle who of course has great love for the earth and I hope that um, White Buffalo Calf Woman will also be with us. In fact, I can feel that she is now a great cosmic being of tremendous love and kindness and compassion. And I think it's possible that she may be a higher aspect of Gaia. And. Um, of course, despite how much harm has been done to Gaia, she has still managed to have great love and compassion for all those that live on her, including humanity. So I think there's quite a big connection there. So 
Hopefully, you will all be able to experience the spirit, the soul of Gaia and come into unity with her and experience the new crystalline earth, the new crystalline human, which in fact we already are in our fifth dimensional cells. It's just a process now as that merging takes place. So, let us all begin. So wherever you are, whenever you listen, know that we are with you. As starseeds and light workers, it is your mission here to be open to receive the higher light from the higher realms to be a channel for these energy transmissions and to be able to anchor them within Gaia. So bring yourselves inwards now into your innermost being as you move into the inner planes and you come within, as you move down into the relaxation of your body, you bring your awareness to your breath. <clears throat> you simply know that you breathe and as your body relaxes, so you become aware of the light of spirit which is always flowing through you. And the light within begins to build as your divine self, your connection to your soul, your fifth dimensional self, enters down through your crown, through your aura, filling you with its light. And as you affirm to yourself, I am, you connect to the multi dimensions to create a source as you feel within your connection to the creator of which you are a part. And you feel your divine presence, your power as a being of light. And you remember why you are here. So let us now begin the work that we are here to do. So take your energy downwards now, through your lower chakras through your lower body into the earth. As you move down into the earth, you move down more deeply until you arrive at the very core, the core of Gaia, her crystalline core, where you connect with her spirit, her soul, Gaia. Immediately you begin to experience her energy, her power, her force, which is the force, the power of love, of compassion, of tremendous kindness, a motherly nurturing energy which she gifts to all of us and to all life on this planet. Allow her energy, her spirit, to travel upwards into the room, into your aura, into your being as Gaia 
fills your being and comes into your heart. As you gently relax and open your heart, so you allow her heart to enter into yours, to merge with you and to become one, one heart. There's nothing for you to do here, simply to affirm that you are open to receive. And as you receive her heart into yours, you are filled with a very comforting, nurturing sense of being, which makes you feel completely safe, completely at home on this beautiful earth. For it is part of the ascension process for the human that we master this dimension, that we become at home on this planet and able to live in joy. And her comforting energy, her great love, allows us to feel safe, to feel protected and to experience the great joy of her beauty. So as we continue to anchor the light for her, so through these many corridors which the star seeds create, fifth dimensional energies are able to enter into her core to be anchored on her planet all over the earth. And as more and more portals are opened, it will eventually come to the point where the ascension process will be able to take place. So let us assist her now as we feel her energy around us and within us. Let us now call to the crystalline consciousness from the cosmic level to the souls of the crystal beings who inhabit Gaia's crystals in her core and as they join us we also ask the beautiful Lacturian Helioa to come and assist us also and as you allow the crystalline beings to bring their energy to you you feel the brilliance of their energies. You may experience yourselves being surrounded with multicolored crystalline light. And as you allow them into your being, your being, your soul, your innermost aspects will fill with the purity of brilliant white light. This brilliant white or multicolored light of the crystalline consciousness from the cosmic level carries all that is required for the awakening of Gaia so let us now bring, with the help of Hinoa, this crystalline light, this crystalline consciousness, through ourselves and into Gaia. 
as the energies pass through into her crystalline core and we see ourselves now all together within her core as we come into her core filled with her spirit come into her soul and we become part of her, we realize that we are a part of her and we allow the crystalline light to flow into her crystals, activating her crystals awakening her crystals awakening her memories dissolving pain and suffering the memories of which are no longer needed within the human as we feel ourselves coming more into the present moment into the now and the glory and the magnificence of this crystalline dimension and as she awakens and as we awaken so does she we begin to visualize our own crystalline body of light and how it is part of, merged with, connected to her crystalline body of light and from her core all is light all is rising as we move up with her into higher frequencies. We feel a shimmering, a shimmering energy as we ourselves and Gaia shimmer into higher frequencies of light. And the energies of Sirius and the energies of the Arcturians come to join us, bringing their blue light, the feminine energy, the divine feminine in all its purity. Jesus, Ananda and Mary enter into our heart into our auras, into the soul and spirit of Gaia. And we all experience the joy of her raising, of her awakening as she remembers with us the fifth dimension and we begin the process of return to the fifth dimension. We feel in its beauty, we see its beauty. As all is raised into the frequency of the Christ consciousness, the energies that now reign the energies of unconditional love, of forgiveness, of compassion, of love and kindness for all life, non-judgment. And we allow the joy to fill our souls 
we send our joy to Gaia with our huge thanks for the way that she has provided the conditions for our lives here. We connect and open to her elementals, the Devic Kingdom, the plants and the animals. And through our expanded hearts and the crystalline energies, we begin to experience unity with her, with all her kingdoms and with all life. As we rest in the blissfulness of this dimension, this higher dimension, let us call to the great cosmic being, white buffalo calf woman, to descend. She may only bring her energies into this realm when the frequency is high enough for her to do so. As we have been helped to come into the higher frequency close to the fifth dimension, we ask her now to come into our energy field and the energy field of the earth, bringing with her her energies of love and kindness, of compassion for the earth, for all life. And we spend a few moments now in silence as we allow these transmissions to continue. Relax your bodies and let go a little more. There's nothing for you to do, simply to receive. Hold your vision from her core crystals of the grids of light. Throughout yourselves, throughout each of us, throughout the whole planet, extending into her aura. As we bring the fifth dimension into the third dimension. The energies are very wonderful. It's a beautiful place to be. So when we leave this place in the core of Gaia within this frequency of the fifth dimension. Know that you can bring this with you, that it is waiting to merge with you, so there is no need to leave it behind. So now, 
Let us each return upwards into our bodies, bringing with us the crystalline light. And we come into our bodies once more within the room filled with crystalline light, connected to Gaia's core, to her heart and soul, connected to birth, to our own multi-dimensional self, and to all the multi-dimensional beings from all realms within this magnificent universe who send to us their higher light and love. And we become the bridge between heaven and earth, the rainbow bridge connected to both. And through unity consciousness, we reside within in multiple dimensions. So feel yourselves fully present now. Take these energies with you know that the connection is there whenever you simply affirm I am open to receive let us all be the spiritual warriors that we are as we lead Gaia into her magnificent Ascension. <laughs>